Hello, travelers! Welcome back to Underground Library. I'm Han Zilingo, a storyteller and alchemist in here. Hmm, since last time we have talked about the tones and the numbers, and what can I help you today? Hmm, mm hmm, you would like to learn how to greeting with everyone in Cantonese, but you have no idea? Please follow me, and we can have a chat and tea together. Welcome to my room, please take a seat and let me talk about how to greeting in Cantonese. For greeting, we have two ways to say it. One is called Man Hao. Man Hao is more like a formal way asking people how's your day going, how are you, for more like a question, that is Man Hao. But if you're just saying hello or good morning, good afternoon, that is called Da Jiu Fu. Da Jiu Fu. So um, for this, I just let to know we have two ways to saying for how to greetings. For the beginning, we have the most simple one. We have the good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. For good morning, we call it Zhou San. Zhou San. When you're thinking about Zhou San, like the sun, it sounds like sun. So more easy to remember you can think about when the sun is rising up in the morning time so it's Zhou Sun the earliest sun the sun is rising I hope that can help you to more easy to remember and good afternoon mm on mm on good evening man on man on so this is the most easy, the three different for good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We have Zhou San, Ng An, Man An. However, if you think it's a little bit hard for you to remember three different words, we can using some is the greeting that is no matter what time and date, you also can using it. So here is some example. For the most simple and the most we using it is saying hello or hi. So hello or hi in Cantonese is lei hao. Lei hao. And for the um how are you? We are using lei hao ma. Lei hao ma. And are you all right? Lei ge hao ma like asking your friend or your friend is feeling um, a little bit sad and you are just want to know oh how's your recently going then you can say they get home to more care about your friend or even though it's not your friend um, for people around you you just want to say well are you all good then you can say they get home and the last one we're having the what's up or some people saying what news is Lei Jai Gan Di Ma Lei Jai Gan Di Ma Jai Gan is meaning recently So when you say oh what's up or what's news or how's your recently going You can say Lei Jai Gan Di Ma Then here is some greeting is no matter for which time and date you also can use it If you feel like oh for those of it is also a little bit too hard for you to remember is there any magic word yes we do we have a really casual and informal way to greeting that is called why why is meaning hey or yo um it's really informal so same as english you also have to be careful for how you're saying these terms unless people will feel you are so rude for example like if you say hey how are you that is a friendly like why lady ma that is a friendly way however if you say why lady ma hey how are you then people will feel like you are a bit rude right so have to be careful on how you're saying it but this is a really good word for you to learn it or more informal to say hello to your friend and for the Cantonese, we also have some interesting way that for greeting to others, we have it. Have you eaten yet? 
食咗饭未啊 ？Is something like um after lunch or after the dinner time or even though it's just normal afternoon or the evening, then you can saw someone you know it and you just going to greeting with them or know your neighbors. You can say, "Hey, 食咗饭未啊？" To just a simple greeting, and we're also talking about the weather's for the greeting. Like, oh, the sun is so hot, it's burning. Um, it's cloudy today. We got the thunder. Uh, we have a really windy day today. Yeah. Um, people there, can the speaker they normally is quite love to talking about weather and complain about the weather. So. Um, but for the weather, I hope maybe I can share with you guys in the future, cause it's a little bit、um, hard to sing all of it in here. So maybe I will do that session. So there you go. Here is how we greeting in Cantonese. If you're interested about the Cantonese Chinese and learn more about the Chinese culture, please share, like. And subscribe my channel, and also give me a comment to let me know what you are interested in the future. And don't forget to follow my Twitter. I will update my daily life in there, and we can have a tea and chat together in there. Maybe I'm Hamzulinko, and I see you next time. Bye.